guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a weekly message for Earth Signs. So guys, if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this may resonate if you have Earth somewhere in your chart, or if you're just trying to stay grounded or keep a grounded soul. So I'm hearing this may be for you. Guys, know that it's a general reading, so it may resonate. It may not keep what's for you, what you feel on a soul level, disregard the rest, but know that no matter what Spirit says, what cards we get, it's still up to you guys, your active free will, and the way that you go about implementing this guidance, right? The choices you take, the steps you take to get the fulfillment that you would like to see in your world. And what I'm hearing is this also accepting divine guidance, divine intervention, as well as being open to the messages that you receive and how that they 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 are can be incorporated into your life. As well as if I hit any energy centers while we're doing this, um, you know, why was it here? You may want to do a little bit of a cleanse of your energy, and I'm being asked to right now. Clear out some energy, anything in a, inauthentic here, all right? My heart was really going off, guys. So this is for November 11th through to the 17th, 2019. Um, again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this idea, this whole moment element of Earth, I was thinking about this. I'm recording on Remembrance Day, and um, I'm hearing it's like this is a, the day of remembering. It's not about and a day of forgetting. Okay, so here's where they want me to tell you because I'm ashamed, but I gotta tell you guys. At 11-11, I didn't take a moment. I didn't think about fallen soldiers and I didn't think about my ancestral lines and my grandfather. And I should've, you know, and that's one of these things, it's like it slipped my mind. But it's like it's been a day of forgetting for that for me, trying to keep things up flow and doing, you know, keeping your other priorities. But at the same time, it's a day of remembering, being like, well, this is why you don't. This is what activating and exercising free will, essentially. Um, and, in, and Remembrance Day has become so much more, right? And this is not about Remembrance Day, and this is not about me. But Spirit wanted me to tell you guys this, because I, and I thought about it right before I was doing this. My heart chakra hurt a lot. I heard a day of remembering. Um, I, when I was shuffling the Crystal Mandala Orca, Time to Shine came out loud and proud. And it's like, if there's been things that have slipped your mind lately that were really important to you, it doesn't mean you don't care. Um, check yourself and take some time later. So my intention is to take a few minutes and um, bring into ceremony and honor my ancestors and bring thanks for, you know, fighting for my freedom. And for anybody else out there, any of you guys, if you're veterans, you know, um, if you've got people in your life who are fighting wars against themselves or war raging in your head, it's also what I'm hearing. Um, you know, not forgetting, remembering struggles and discussing them openly, say time to shine because this day of remembering can be a day of forgetting as well. It's putting that ugly beast and the demons to bed saying, I remembered them, I faced them full on and you know what, I lived through it and after the weight can just go, <sighs> all right, so Spirit is asking me to bring a Crystal Mandela Oracle for you guys first before we move any further. Um, guys, if you're new to my channel, thanks for being here. It's awesome to have you guys along this journey with me. And if it resonates at the end, please hit subscribe and join the tribe with me. And guys, for any of you guys who have been with me for a while, you're one of my subscribers, you just watch a lot. Thank you. It means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. Um, all the likes, shares, comments, guys, anything, you know, if you'd like to reach out, absolutely. Um, it's It's been just nice to have you guys along the journey. So let's see what Spirit has already three. Daring Rebirth, Goddess Ishtar, and Astrophilite, Goddess Rhiannon, Integrity, and Amazonite. Archangel Gabriel, turquoise and safe to be seen, babies. Passion of the Lionheart, Goddess Sekhmet, and Fire a Gate. And they want me to take this one, which is Angel Amatilbul, or Anam, Amatil, and Blue Obsidian, which is Revelation. So what I was getting at, and I apologize for this <laughs> acceptance. They want me to show you this. Crossroads of Power, and descending power so or sorry crossroads of destiny and descending power I feel like the more we accept 
So this idea of that day of remembering, day of forgetting, let's remember it, let's honor it, let's face our traumas, you know, let's honor the fallen, honor the wounded, thank those who helped pave the way for our freedom today. Thank yourself, thank that past self for going through all that shit you went through to be who you are today because if it didn't happen, your experiences would have been a little bit different, right? It's like genetics. You, you could be born to... You know, your soul can come in a million different times, but in this lifetime, you wouldn't be the same person. Your parents, your genetic makeup really does make who we are. It brings out our characteristics and our traits. And I do believe as well, we have ancestral knowledge stored in those DNAs on this physical plane. And this descending power, this crossroads really does say, you've got Malachite here. They want me to show you that, and that's the last that I'm going. But this descending power, this is, you have the Kundalini has risen, and it's coming back down to harness it in, baby. That's what this is, and it is your crossroad of destiny to say, hmm, am I going to be afraid to face those fears because they're scary and they're dark and I'm afraid of what they have to say and how I feel about myself, how I feel about the situation, the scary little horrors I'm keeping inside, the dark little pits in my heart, okay? Sorry, wow. But if that's, you know, we all do this stuff, it's saying... Crossroads of destiny, rise up along this spiritual journey, you're going to have to face a lot of shadow aspects and the challenges, acceptance, facing it with love because within this yin and yang, this balance of light and dark, the here and now, the good, the bad within everything and the space between, it is really honoring everything that's put you here, accepting it. And this is pink calcite and they're going to ask me to read from this book here part of this from the book the more we do that we're gonna get a revelation we're gonna realize something that's been holding us back holding us down we face ourselves in that nasty pit and say uh, uh uh you don't have a hold on me it's like an it when they realize it's the spider I have to say the Stephen King movie I'm terrified of that movie but when it gets down to the spider that thing is so fake and not real I'm not scared anymore and that's where this revelation is gonna go when you face down that dirty rotten scary thing that you've been not wanting to face that day of remembering becomes the day of forgetting because the next day maybe you don't wake up thinking about it the trauma's gone whatever it is okay you're not hurting anymore revelation my friend and when we do that when we heal ourselves this is it's big time when we allow ourselves to be seen in the places we may have hidden our shine before, we may have shied away or not wanted people to see us. Spirits say, uh, 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 come forth with full integrity. Shine brightly as you are. Ask our angel Gabriel to help you. I was, I was gonna put on my turquoise bracelet for this and I didn't. I'm gonna pause you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. I can't find my bracelet, it doesn't matter. I just thought it would be nice, but safe to be seen here. They're being guided, I got turquoise around a little feather here. It's safe to be seen. This is a little spirit nudge for me because you need it. <sighs> oh, this has been really difficult to get ready for. But accepting anything from our past, figuring out why it's here, having that wonderful aha uh -huh, revelation, bye-bye, let it go. Come full force with the passion of a lion heart and pour your heart and your soul into anything that you do, whatever brings you fire, and as well as nourishing, right? This is sacred. That stuff is going back down into the root. So there could be a lot of sensuality as well. If this is body, it's safe to be seen. Anything that's held you back from really truly honoring the goddess or God that you are, crossroads of destiny, what do you choose? Do you want to stay down and small? Uh-uh, you want to rise up, right? Mm-hmm. I'm hearing Mount Olympus for some of you. Um, and it's because it's goddess Hectate. Crossroad of Destiny. Let's get the book. I'll pull some tarot. Hopefully I don't run out of time, guys, but they brought me to something. What did they bring me to? Twelve, Storm Wisdom. And they brought me to um, the affirmation for Storm Wisdom, which is essentially learning from our past mistakes. I dwell in the peaceful center at the eye of the storm as divine wisdom rushes through my life with fierce cleansing compassion Liberating, liberating me into my most loving, joyful life journey. And you can say this three times, say it in the mirror until you believe it. Let's try that again. 
I dwell in the peaceful center at the eye of the storm. As divine wisdom rushes through my life with fierce cleansing compassion, and that's that lion, that fierce cleansing compassion, liberating me into my most loving, joyful life journey. I dwell in the peaceful center at the eye of the storm. As divine wisdom rushes through my life with fierce cleansing compassion, liberating me in my most loving, joyful life journey. Liberating me. Like I said, it's liberation. It's like that war. You know? Um, it's a lot D-Day, right? Like, it's finally over. No, D-Day's not finally over, but it's today. Finally over. You think about storming on this D-Day, right? Storming on, starting this fight, starting the destruction, until now, where it's over and really just the healing and ending begins. When we let that stuff go, the battle, and we leave it in behind us, that's liberating. And it's time to move fiercely on to beautiful so that that sacrifice was not in vain. Wow. Whew, 39. Um... Okay, so they want me to talk a little bit about this, guys. You can, um, at this point, I'm just going to read the affirmation. Or actually, they want me to say the free will portion. So to help remove bindings and conditionings that would stop you from moving forward and really letting that stay behind and being fierce and allowing fierce compassion and wild divinity and the roar of the tigress, the lion within yourself and the strength and the pride that you have in yourself, it's time to let that shine. And it's time to, we're going to ask God a segment to now to in, encounter us here to enjoy us because this is sensual pleasure as well. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime in all layers of my entire being to release pain from my heart, all fatigue, doubt, despair, disappointment, and any other memory or associated belief system that would obstruct the expression of my passion in the world in service to the divine plan of love unfolding through divine empowerment and unconditional love, so be it. We're going to ask a little prayer out into the world now, spread a little peace and love, and I ask of this for you as well as myself and anybody out there who could use it. May divine love awaken sacred passion and love in action fully and completely in the world according to divine grace and mercy in service to the divine feminine wisdom evolving through humanity at, the, humanity at this time, so be it. And we're going to finish off with some affirmations for this. I am a bold, lion-hearted lover of life, fierce with passionate purpose. I'm a bold, lion-hearted lover of life, fierce with passionate purpose. I am a bold, lion-hearted lover of life, fierce with passionate purpose and so are you and follow that drive follow where you go it's safe to be seen love the life that you've been given that you have you want steampunk look so let's get some tarot wisdom before we leave spirit it's gonna be the only thing that flew out and i mean all these cards was a chariot all these cards flew up down and i'm gonna put them down time to move safe to be seen time to go Make those forward moving changes that you need to so that you're happy and fulfilled within your life. It really is the crossroads of destiny. And whatever you experience now, whatever revelations, whatever you let go of, really let go and move on from this. could be a cancer card as well. We're going to ask a little clarification, but if I get cut off, I apologize, guys. It's the Four of Wands. So success, celebration, Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords, I heard brand new vision. The Hermit, Seven of Swords. You may need to get right with yourself and remove yourself from the old ways of thinking. Realize what thought paradigms you want to leave behind. This could also be stolen as well. This is always reminds me um, of the Masons, right? But 